Welcome to another example of forecasting using the simple exponential smoothing method. The daily actual demand for data entry operators in a company is as given below. As a demand planner, what value of alpha would you choose if you are using the simple exponential smoothing method of forecasting? The three options given to us for the value of alpha are 0 0.1, 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. Also comment on the forecast behavior as compared to the actual demand. So in this example we have been given the actual demand for data entry operators in a company. So for day one the actual demand was 10 day 2 the actual demand was 11, day 3 the actual demand was 12 and so on till day 15. And we have to find out what value of alpha is the best to forecast for this type of demand. So here the actual demand for 15 days is already given to us. So we do not need to forecast the demand for these 15 days because the actual demand is already known. So why would you forecast? However, in order to forecast the demand for the days after these 15 days, we need to evaluate the past data, which is this data. That will help us to come up with the best value of alpha and also identify if the simple exponential smoothing method of forecasting will work or not. Hence, let us first find out the forecast for these 15 days using the different values of alpha as 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 for the simple exponential smoothing method. Then we'll evaluate the findings and then we'll decide what should be done for forecasting the future demand. So this is the data that has been provided to us. We have days 1 through 15 and we know the actual demand for each of these days. And now we have to find out the forecast using the simple exponential smoothing method when alpha is 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Now let's first note down the formula for simple exponential smoothing. So as per simple exponential smoothing method, the forecast for period T is equal to the forecast for period T minus 1 plus alpha, which is the smoothing factor, into bracket the actuals for period T minus 1 minus the forecast for period t minus 1. So let us first find this value when alpha is equal to 0 0.1. Now what we need to find the forecast for period t is the actuals and the forecast for the previous period. So in this case the actual demand for day 1 is 10 Let's assume that the forecast was also 10. So the forecast for day 2 will be equal to forecast for day 1 plus alpha which is 0 0.1 multiplied by the actuals for day 1 minus forecast for day 1. Now forecast for day 1 and actual both are 10. So 10 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 minus 10. So this becomes 0. So the forecast is 10. Let's find for the third day. So F3 is equal to F2 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 
a2 minus f2 so this is equal to now f2 is the forecast for day 2 which is 10 so 10 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by the actual for day 2 is 11 so 11 minus and the forecast is 10 so 10 so 10 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 11 minus 10 is 1 so 10 plus 0 0.1 which is equal to 10.1 so the forecast for the third day is 10.1 now let's proceed to day number 4 so f4 is equal to the forecast for day 3 which is 10.1 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by the actuals which is 12 minus the forecast which is 10.1 so 10.1 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 12 minus 10.1 is 1.9 so 10.1 plus 0 0.19 and this is equal to 10.29 we can actually round it off to one decimal so this will become 10.3 and this goes away so similarly we have to calculate the forecast for alpha is equal to 0.1 for all the remaining days so let me do that so these are the values of forecast for the remaining days with alpha being 0.1 now let's do the same for alpha being 0.3 so for the first day we'll assume that the forecast is 10 let's find out the forecast for day 2 so f2 is equal to the forecast for the previous period which is 10 plus alpha which is 0 0.3 into bracket the actuals which is 10 minus the forecast again which is 10 so 10 minus 10 is 0 0 multiplied by 0 0.3 is 0 so this becomes 10 so the forecast for day 2 is also 10 let's move to day 3 so previous forecast is 10 so 10 plus alpha which is 0 0.3 into brackets the actuals which is 11 minus the forecast which is 10 so this becomes 10 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 1 so 0 0.3 multiplied by 1 is 0 0.3 so this becomes 10.3 similarly let's calculate the remaining so as shown I have calculated the forecast for alpha equals to 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Now we have to understand the behavior of these three different smoothing constants along with the actual demand. So let's plot a graph with these values and let's see how the behavior is for the forecast calculated. So this is how the graph comes out. I have plotted the data for actual demand. The forecast with alpha is equal to 0.5. Forecast with alpha equals to 0.3. And forecast with alpha equal to 0.1. So as we can see, the actual demand is initially a steady linear increase and then a steady linear decrease and all the three forecasts are below the actual demand when the actual demand is increasing and above the actual demand when the actual demand is decreasing and they are consistently lagging behind the actual demand so let me note down the formula for simple exponential smoothing
So basically what is happening here is that the forecast for the current period is equal to the forecast of the previous period. And then we are finding out what was the error for the previous period that is actuals minus the forecast for the previous period. And then we are multiplying it by a smoothing factor. Now, if the value of this error is high, that means for the previous period, the actual was very different from the forecast. Then we can't have the forecast for period T equal to the forecast for period T minus one because there is a lot of error. In those cases, then the value of alpha determines how much should be added to the new forecast. The higher the value of alpha, the more correction we are adding to the new forecast as compared to the previous forecast. For example, let's say this value comes out to 10. Now alpha being 0 0.1, basically what we are doing is we are adding 1 to the new forecast. If this is 3, that is 0 0.3, then this value becomes 3. So then we are adding 3 to the new forecast as compared to the old forecast. If it is 0 0.5, this value becomes 0 0.5 multiplied by 10, which is 5. So in that case, we are adding 5 to the new forecast. So now, as you can see, with less value of alpha, there is a huge gap between the actual demand and the forecast. And as we are correcting it, that is we are increasing the value of alpha, the forecast is coming nearer to the actual demand. And the reason is because the actual demand actually has a trend. So this is not a simple average time series. Basically, the simple exponential smoothing method can be useful if the demand is like this and you have a forecast which you correct to bring it in sync with the actual demand. But in our case, the demand is like this. So there is a trend. So by increasing the value of alpha, we can make the forecast closer to the actual demand. But the correct way of forecasting for such a demand will be the trend adjusted forecasting method. which has been covered in the other videos. So now based on our analysis of the data for these 15 days, we have now realized that we need to have either the value of alpha higher than 0.1 or 0.3. So we'll probably use the value of 0.5 for the future demand forecast, or we should actually move to the trend adjusted forecasting method of exponential smoothing.